Welcome to the Probate Pro. I'm Darren Finling, and I'm going to walk you through the guardian and conservator process in Michigan. This is the timeline of events that will occur when addressing a guardian and conservator issue. The first thing you want to do is obtain a report of a physician or medical provider that indicates the need for the guardian or conservator. That document is a state approved form that the physician fills out that identifies that there is a need. It could also be done on a normal script that just indicates the need for a guardian or conservator. A petition for guardianship or conservatorship or both is then filed at the probate court in the county in which the person resides. The filing fee is $150 per petition that is filed. When filed, the court will schedule a hearing date and it is required that the person filing, the petitioner, serves the person personally with the notice of hearing and the petition, as well as serve all of the interested parties that are set forth by Michigan's statute. A guardian ad litem will be appointed by the court to go out and visit the person that is being asked to be protected. That guardian ad litem is essentially asking two primary questions of that person and will report to the court whether the person is in need of a guardian or conservator and whether the person that is proposed to be appointed is suitable and wanted by the person to be protected. If the individual agrees to both the need for the protection under guardianship or conservatorship as well as the person that is being nominated, the process moves quite smoothly. However, in the event that there is an objection, the guardian ad litem indicates in the report the objection and the matter will proceed to an evidentiary hearing. The guardian ad litem report is filed. It's important that a person reviews that report in preparation of the hearing to identify whether the guardian ad litem supports or does not support the petition that is being filed. There will be a hearing on the petitions for appointment of guardian and or conservator at the probate court about three weeks after the original petitions have been filed. The judge will make a determination if based on clear and convincing evidence that there is a need for the appointment of a guardian and or conservator for that individual. The court will also determine who should serve in that capacity. Following the hearing on the petitions and assuming that the court has granted the request for the appointment, letters of authority will be issued. The letters of authority cost $15 each and have a seal on them that identify the powers of the guardian and conservator and any restrictions or limitations of those powers. Those letters of authority are very important and you can present those at medical providers, doctor's visits, hospitals, or anybody that you're conducting business with to provide proof that you have authority to make decisions on behalf of the person that you're serving as guardian and or conservator. For a conservatorship file, Within 56 days of appointment, it is required that you file an inventory with the probate court identifying any of the assets that you as the conservator are managing on behalf of the protected individual. It's very important that during that time you have retitled all of the assets of the protected individual into the name of the conservatorship estate and that none of the assets are mixed up or commingled with your own assets. And then yearly, on the anniversary of the appointment, an annual report on condition is filed with the probate court indicating how the person is doing, and an annual account is filed in a conservatorship identifying all of the income and expenses that have occurred within that year. It's very important that accurate records, very detailed and accurate records are maintained because each year that will be filed with the probate court 
on a yearly basis on the anniversary. For more information and questions regarding the guardian and conservator process, don't hesitate to call the Probate Pro, 877-YOUR-FIRM.